All right, we're going to look at um, doing some addition and subtraction of radicals. The procedure is fairly simple um, in that we always begin by simplifying each radical, and then we combine like terms, meaning if I have the same radical, you know, like if I'm adding root 2 to root 2, I get 2 root 2. Uh, so if my numbers or the expressions inside the radical are the same, those are like terms, and we can combine them. Um, we'll start with an example here. Uh, we've got the square root of 2 plus the square root of 8. The square root of 2 is already uh, simplified. The square root of 8, let's see this factors is 2 times 2 times 8, so or 2 times 2 times 2 rather. We could take out a 2, so we have root 2 plus 2 times root 2, and all together we have 3 root 2. Right, we have 1 root 2 here, we're adding it to 2 root 2's. So those are just like terms, so I combine them. It gives us 3 root 2 for the same reason that x plus 2x gives us 3x. Um, let's do another one. Here we're dealing with cube roots, and we're going to begin with um, simplifying. So 24 is 3 times 8, and 8 is 2 times 4, which is 2 times 2. So we have the cube root 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And then 81 is 9 times 9, and each of these is a couple of 3's. So 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Uh, in both cases, we, could, we have a a set that we could take out. Here's three twos. That'll come out as a single two. Here's three threes. It'll come out as a single three. Two times the cube root of three plus three times the cube root of three. And now look, we have like terms in that it's the radicals that are the same. So we can combine them to get five times the cube root of three. Okay, let's begin. We're um, in this next example. Uh, we always begin with ra um, simplifying. So the square root of 24, um, we already uh, factored that. We know that it's 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Uh, the square root of 3 halves, I'm going to split that up as the root 3 over root 2. Now let's begin, uh, let's, let's continue working with this first radical. It's a square root this time, not a cube root, so it's the pair of twos I'm going to take out. And then what's left inside is 2 times 3, or 6. With this fraction, um, we're going to rationalize that denominator. So we'll multiply top and the bottom by the square root of 2. On the bottom we have 2, up top we have the square root of 6. Now there's a couple of ways we could approach this, but um, I'm going to think of it as um, adding fractions. So this first one, 2 root 6, that's 2 root 6 over 1, we can get a common denominator. We'll multiply top and the bottom by 2. Now our common denominator is 2, up top we have 4 root 6 plus root 6, and uh, overall we have on top 5 root 6 over 2. You can leave it that way, or you could write it as 5 halves root 6, if you want to think of it as just a single multiple of root 6. Either of those would be fine. Okay, now let's try one more. We're subtracting some radicals here, and they both have uh, stuff in the denominator. So um, I guess we got to rationalize denominators, and we got to get a common denominator, um, you know, to add them. So um, let's see. I'm going to start, I guess, by splitting up these radicals over division. 
Now this has a factor of two. Uh, the second one has a factor of two out front. That's a two over one. So when I split up this radical, the second radical over division, the two is going to be a factor up top. So we have two times the square root of three over the square root of two a. Now I've got two tasks ahead of me. I got to simplify, uh, like rationalize the denominator and get a common denominator so I can do the subtraction. And I think you could probably do it in either order. I find it easier to rationalize denominators first. So I'm going to multiply uh, the top and bottom of the first fraction by the square root of 3a, because that's what we'll rationalize there. And in the second fraction, I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 2a. because that's what will rationalize that denominator. The first fraction in the bottom I have 3a. Up top I have the square root of 6a. In the second fraction in the bottom I have uh, 2a. And up top I have 2 times the square root of 6a. Now I can get a common denominator. They both have a factor of a, so we just need to get the, the right coefficients on, on that. So the first fraction, we can multiply the top and the bottom by 2. In the second fraction, we can multiply the top and the bottom by 3. And now they have a common denominator of 6a. Up top, we have 2 times the square root of 6a minus uh, 6 times the square root of 6a. And up top, we have like terms, right? It's the common radical. It's the root uh, square root of 6a. So since these are the same, I can combine like terms. 2 minus 6 is negative 4. So we have negative 4 times the square root of 6a all over 6a. And we can do some reducing here. Not because of the 6a and the radical, but because there's a factor of 4 up top and a factor of 6 on the bottom. They're both even, right? We can take out a factor of 2 or cancel a factor of 2. 2 goes into 4 twice. 2 goes into 6 three times. So we have negative 2, the square root of 6a, all divided by 3a. And that is as far as we can go.